YouTube, what's going on? Wanye Visuals, back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you three ways on how to get the faded film look in your videos. Let's jump into the intro. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, hit the like button if you learned something from this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I do tips, tricks, tutorials, anything you wanna know, leave it down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Let's jump into this. All right, right here you can see I already put my clip in the timeline, I color graded it and I'm ready to give it that faded film look. What I'm gonna do today is show you three ways on how to get that faded film look. First, what you're gonna wanna do is go on over to your elementary color and I'm already in it, the creative tab and you're gonna wanna go down here where you see it says faded film and just bring the intensity up a bit. And what you'll notice over here on the video clip is it starts to fade. Also, when it fades, you can, if you have any scratches available, go on, throw your scratches and above it and Go to screen, make sure it's transparent. And it looks like a, an, an old fashioned video. It's really stylish. But that right there, using the faded film over here, I don't normally do that. I like to do it a different way. But as you can see, if you adjust it, if you in, intensify it and bring it down, depending on how high or low you go. So again, I don't really use this part. I don't know why, I just feel like there's better ways to do it. So I'm gonna move on to the next way and that's to go into your curves. And what you're gonna to wanna to do in your curves is go down here, make an adjustment layer and throw that adjustment layer above the clip. Now go to the adjustment layer, make three points in the curve and you can move these up and down, but I don't really need to do that because I already did the color grade. What I'm gonna do is just go all the way down to the bottom of the curve and drag it up. And again, you'll see that it made another faded look. Also, again, bring that, bring that on, bring, that, bring them scratches on. And you got, again, another faded look. I'm gonna leave that over here to the side. Shout out to Creative Ryan. I got some, you know, some uh, scratches from his store. I'm gonna show you one more way to do this, the last and final way. And as a matter of fact, this way that I'm about to show you is actually my favorite way to do it. Shout out to Visionary Art Groups. I learned this one from him. Go on over to your color mat and go to your gray color. Hit okay, drag that above the clip. Go on over to the opacity and uh, you can choose any one of these, but choose difference. I feel like difference looks the best. Bring the opacity down and you got a, another faded film. It's very dark and deep. That's why I like it. It looks really, really rugged. I like it a lot. Again, throw that scratch on it and you got a perfect looking faded film look for your, all your videos, your music videos, your vlogs, any type of video you wanna use awesome way to fade your videos out. You could also do this in your photos too. I don't know if you're aware, but if you have Lightroom, it's the same process with the curves. I'm gonna show you the curves again one more time. Just drag the curves up. Uh, make the three dots and drag that up like that. You don't wanna go too far because again, it starts looking all distorted, but find a, a middle ground and uh, go with it. It's a really stylistic look. I, I see a lot of creators using it. I use it in my videos as well sometimes. I just, I feel like it, it makes your it, it, it makes your video pop more. All right, I hope you took something away from this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave some comments down below. Let me know how you like it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.